After a six-week inquest during which damning allegations were levelled at Families SA, the state coroner is ready to deliver his findings into the death of four-year-old Chloe Valentine. Kim Robertson has followed the inquiry. Kim, a landmark day in court tomorrow. Yes, good evening, Brenton. Look, it's been one of the most heartbreaking and longest running inquests that South Australia has ever seen. The mobile phone footage showing Chloe Valentine being forced to ride a motorbike to her death in 2012 shocked the country. Her mother, Ashley Polkinghorn, and her then partner, Benjamin McPartland, have been jailed for her manslaughter. And the harrowing inquest which followed her the little girl's death was the result of catastrophic child protection failings and could have been prevented had Families SA removed Chloe from her mother. Now the coroner, Mark Johns, is ready to make key recommendations to change the way children are protected in this state. Well, this is obviously a, a case which has uh, shocked and appalled uh, the, the community. We'll carefully scrutinise all of the recommendations. Of course, we have on foot a Royal Commission. Child protection is paramount. Uh, this is a problem that affects the whole of government and it requires strong leadership and a great deal of courage to ensure that the right things are done for the right reasons. Now, in a sign of just how important the coroner's findings are, Mark Johns has taken the rare step to allow our cameras into the courtroom when he hands down his recommendations tomorrow. So stay tuned to Nine News at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Kim, thank you.